Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. I would have loved to have this wonderful youth that performed extremely well tonight here. Where are they? Can you call this youth? I have a story for you. Okay, you dance the whole of, the whole of when you are on. You know what you did today? And I also watched you at the Eagle Square. Under President Muhammad Buhari's administration is the frantic effort to create jobs and move over one million Nigerians out of poverty by the year 2030. Now, you just did something. What they call being self-employed goes a long way after the certificate. You just equipped yourselves with the certificate. You equipped yourselves with the certificate. You performed so well this evening. I listened to the vibes, I saw the energy, I saw the synergy, and I saw the moves. You didn't only earn money, earn fame, but you earned good health because that was good exercise. To the heart, to the physical being, and as you listened, also music is the food for the soul. To all of you here tonight, I would also like to give a token of 2,500 multiplied by 30 of you. You can also participate in Lex. We'll work hard to see how we'll sponsor some of you to participate and win. And I want to promise you, if any one of you wins the optimum prize of five million naira at the end of the Lex, I will add something. So God, go work hard, synergize, contact the Reform Coordination and Service Improvement and the SDS to ensure that you participate. Questions will cut across all walks of life. And if you have the energy, the alertness to dance
and you will be contacted accordingly. So go and do that arithmetic and let me know. 2,500 multiplied by 30. Thank you all very much for keep being steadfast, for believing in this program and this evening. With special appreciation to the Permanent Secretary of CTA and also the Director of Human Resources, Malam Muhammad Bashir and I, here are present. The Mandate Secretary of the Social Development Secretariat, Haji Adiza Muhammad Kabir. The Mandate Secretary of the Education, the Mandate Secretary of the Agriculture and Rural Development, the Mandate Secretary also of the Area Council Service. about that lady chair himself. DG Smedin ably represented here today too. Chief Monday once in the house, you're welcome. As is to the Honorable Minister of State here present, directors and deputy directors of the FCTA here present. Not forgetting the indefatigable Tim Rama too, as usual and as always, for you as special invited guests. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you most sincerely for honoring our invitation at short notice. We are indeed very pleased to have your esteemed presence at this auspicious occasion of Lex Premier. The leadership enterprise. to diminish poverty, build and consolidate entrepreneurship skills, and empower Nigerians, most especially the youth, towards the fulfillment of Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari's commitment to lift over 100 million Nigerians out of poverty by the year 2030. The FCT administration through the Social Development Secretariat collaborated with the African Center for Global Entrepreneurial Leadership and the Small and Medium Enterprise Development Agency of Nigeria, Smeden, to present the residents of the capital territory and indeed Nigerians, the leadership entrepreneurial game show legs. TV. After several discussions, they bought into the vision and commitment was secured to become the official media partners of the next. By February 2022, we went on air for awareness and sensitization campaigns on human rights radio and television on how legs intend to rescue members of the public through its entrepreneurial initiative. One of our FCT call center lines was dedicated to receiving and providing questions to all forms of inquiries. And within three months of announcement, we received over 100,000 registrations from contestants across the six geopolitical zones. Did I Twelve contestants garnered the required 6,000 votes benchmark to get into the job creation studio and qualify for the grand prize of the 5 million Naira. 5 million Naira. Did I hear, did you hear me say 5 million Naira? Tim Rama to you, are you ready? It is 500 million, 5 million naira worth of business tools and working capital after answering about 12 incremental questions bordering on their field of life.
field of entrepreneurial choice. Accordingly, these 12 contestants who have received the business tools and working capital of about 5 million naira. You can see fee, authenticate, or otherwise, of the Leadership Entrepreneurial Game Show program. The operations, processes, and procedures of the legs are already in the public domain. Ladies and gentlemen, let me use this opportunity to reinstate that the FCT administration is committed to partner with any organization that is desirous to banish hunger, arrest idleness, and poverty out of Nigeria and FCT for good, generate employment, and engender self-sufficiency among youths and residents of the Federal Capital Territory through entrepreneurship. I therefore call on corporate entities, non-governmental organizations, businesses with the FCT administration and indeed all men of goodwill to key into this initiative and sponsor some sizable number of youths across the six area councils as part of their corporate social responsibility. I am not leaving out even some of our directors and civil servants that are passionate enough. How much will it cost to sponsor somebody? Please pick a youth and sponsor today. When you do this, more youth can benefit from the Legs Empowerment Scheme. I also call on the chairman of the six area councils of the FCT to identify youth in their respective council and sponsor them to participate in this scheme. By so doing, we have begun to, in earnest, the journey of to reduce drastically the rate of poverty, joblessness, restiveness among our youths and create employment in the FCT. Identify your youths and profile them. The area of being qualified, of course, you know. Definitely you've engendered them in the public domain, in the academic exercise, of course, in the acumen test. When you do this, they will not forget you in a hurry. I want you to imagine one or two youths from your area council with five million naira. That goes a long way because immediately it becomes a gainful employer of labor, isn't it? After seeing what the African Center for Global Entrepreneurial Leadership, in collaboration with other stakeholders, have done to put this event together, and the fact that this is going to bring our many youths from their current unemployment status and become employment. The city administration will make budgetary provision through the Social Development Secretariat to give the program the needed support and for sustainability purposes. That means there is a political backing already. There is the political backing. There is the structural backing. There is even the institutional backing for the legs to continue for sustainability. What we need is all of us out there all people at the helm of affairs to please identify your youth and don't forget youth does not mean only men or boys the youth also must get engendered so pick the ladies as well you have many of them that can qualify this program from our analysis has enormous potentials to generate which means in the years to come, it is going to be a self-sustaining program as we are 
all aware the APC government is committed to bringing out over 100 million youths from their current poverty state by the year 2030. And this program is one of the ways to achieve that in the federal capital territory. The role of the media as a critical stakeholder in propagating this great news to all the nooks and crannies of the territory is key in achieving the noble objective of this partnership and most especially giving Nigerians a platform to become their own bosses and become generators of employment. Who wants to become his own boss here? Do you all want to become your own bosses? Please key onto this program. Identify a leader. Go pay your homage and respect. Hold them responsible. Hold them to account. If all of you here in this hall, we identify one leader or the other, means we shall have so many out of the labor market. On this note and in conclusion, I once again thank you sincerely for heeding to our call within a short time. I want to say most sincerely today that like never before, my confidence keeps building. You know why? You are not responding. Do you know why my confidence is built? You are the reason my confidence gets built. You build my confidence because you are emboldened by the day. Get stronger, ask questions, get empowered, get emboldened. Sky is your limit. Thank you very much for attending. He was on Bumago Tower. Obama's <laughs> Thank you. A round of applause once again.
Tonight. The Agile team should please come up for the award. Why that is going on, the high definition business manager should please key in, key in the, the premier clip. I will now call on to do the presentation of the award. The Honorable Minister is today confirmed the Lifetime Grand Metro LGM Award by the African Center for Global Entrepreneurial Leadership 2022. Pastor Greatness. Your Excellency, the Honorable Minister of State for FCT, Dr. Ramatu um, uh, Tijani Aliyu. It is with great pleasure that I stand tonight to present to you this lifetime. Actually, before I do that, I crave your indulgence to just say briefly that this journey started quite almost a decade and um, it's been one of a roller coaster ride of different kinds of emotions. Like when he said, he almost was Terry when he was given his address. And he is eternally, and we are eternally grateful for the gift of men that we found in you. Without you, we've been on this journey for quite a while, and it wouldn't have been possible. So many times we've eat the, uh, the, 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 the blobs, but you came in and you saw this, and you said, oh yes, you are going to, to throw your weight behind it. We are very grateful, and we, on this note, I want to present to you to the glory of God and we begin of vision and you're passionate about what you do that you continue to make remarkable achievements and growth in the development of the youth in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the, the Lifetime Award, Grand Matron Award to Dr. Ramatu Tejani Aliyu, the Honorable Minister of State for FCT. Please, like, round of applause, please. Thank you. Stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up, for the champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up, stand up. Let me respond, please, and say thank you. As I appreciate on the stage here, I insisted that I have all the mandate secretaries here present, all the area council chairmen here present. The directors that are committed to the success of the FCT administration here are present, particularly the directors that run the offices under the purview of the Honorable Minister of State, and even all those who are well wishes. Again, to my able and indefatigable team Ramoto across all walks of life. 
a prestigious appoint, appointment as lifetime grand matron and given the lifetime award couldn't have been achieved without the cooperation, without respect. It is just a norm that there must be a leader somewhere, somehow. But behind any leader, particularly a successful leader, must have been trustworthy followers, trustworthy supporters, trustworthy aides, trustworthy directors and partners, both visibly and behind the scene. To all of you and even members of my family and walk of life that contribute to all my successes that I stand each time to receive a loan. I couldn't have received it all, but this is dedicated to you for my entire lifetime. A word to many people might just be a simple plaque, but to many who know the meaning of an award. be achieved by one person alone it is always achieved from teamwork collectivity unanimity responsibility taking and love for each other united we are stronger let's continue to work hard let's continue to synergize let's continue to forgive each other and accommodate each other you shall all go higher. You shall go places. Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you all for always supporting this woman and the vision. The victory is all yours. But I know one day, somehow, somewhere, we will meet as equals and we shall discuss this laughing. I give this all to you. Raise it together. The champion. I'm rushing because the ICC is filled to the brim. We will present together the dummy check to the winners of the leg as I am forced to also go for my zonal meeting and they've been on since 8 p.m. 6 p.m. I would like to invite Mr. Egbere Ezekiel Obina, all the way from Epoi State, is one of the winners. Move fast, move fast. Please, let's appreciate him. Mr. Egbere Ezekiel Obina. Step up. He's the one, he's the one. Ezekiel Egbere Obina. what you want for yourself through active engagement and participation and believing in the system. You have won to yourself, Mr. Obina Ezike Egberi, the sum of 750,000. What will you do with this man? The next is Johnson. I wish you to expand to my business. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm selling no bolo. <laughs> Can you hear that? Do you know what quantity of Obono and shop the 750 we do? That is to tell you, keep working. We will watch out for you. Go for compact packaging. Tell the quality of your business. Please, not for export, first for our own consumption. <laughs> Please patronize Mr. Obina so that you. of the Obono.
please do justice to this. We'll come back to appraise how far you've gone at the end of next year. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Next is Mr. Anyone that takes him, please put on the champion music for him. 750, no be more more you. Yes. No, guys. Hello. So who is here? You know Satan Nadi. Do you have Chia in your name? Why? You have Chia? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you know Satan Nadi Chia? Oh. Okay, congratulations. And you just won yourself. One million nine hundred and thirty-five thousand naira only. Please to the proud father we continue to work hard. Sky is the limit. The champion music for these guys, please. For the champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up, stand up. That was an action of a proud father. Now we are back to the winner. Mr. Johnson. This this year. We have a sum of two million four hundred and thirty-five thousand naira. Mr. Chibuzo. Are you happy, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> yes, of course. And what do you trade in? Um, and I'm passionate to create a job. What I, business? This is my dream come true. I'm the pastor of greatness is my role model. Uh, truly, I have a brother here. Who, what do you sell? What do you do with? I want to go into cassava processing. And see why you want to go in. No, I'm in it already. But I'm lacking form. And because I'm from the East, cassava is predominantly our crop there. Mm -hmm. So I look at it that it's easy to. I am, I am happy with your decision because when you cultivate what is, you know, dominant in your place, it will be purchased at high level. Mm. Go into mm -hmm. processing of cassava in its entire value chain. You have the apple, you have the abacha to do, you have the cassava bread, you have the cassava, you have the gari. Ah. Abacha. Mm. West product. The two West products, the peels. Which I want to convert the West into West. Then the cyanide is to be converted to, to have methylated spirit, which the two products there is isopropanol and methanol. I'm on the process. This is on the high level. This is on the high level. That means he has done his research, that means he participated in this program. And that means there is due diligence to this victory tonight. Give him the music. Sky is your limit. I ask the sum of 100,000 to you tonight. So stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up for the champions. Please stop playing the premier. Stop playing the premier. The premier, we are showcasing the premier now. Please, a round of applause for our mother, the Honorable Minister of State FCT, for hosting us all tonight. She is the chief host 
and the chairman of the area council supporting and the mandate secretaries and the director human resource fcta representing the permanent secretary fcta the team ramatu the agile and all the invited guests this program is carried live by human rights radio and television and all the media I want to appeal most sincerely to our guests tonight, particularly the dignitaries. The three area council chairmen, you are the captains of the beneficiaries of this program. I will urge you to wait, to listen and watch me. There is a lot going on in Karo, the studio, so it will be beamed here for you to see. You need to appreciate what is happening behind the scene because we just watched presentation of checks. You will be, you'll be amazed at what effort our children have put in, particularly the Algon chairman and this prize today. The effort he has done. If you know what is true, maybe you will be proudly so. Yes, you know him. His name is Chia. He's an adopted son. You should him. I'm him. So on this note, I want to also appeal to the director of human resources. Please stay behind. And then director pension, I shall ask you all for every detail. Am I permitted to run again yet to another very important occasion going on some this is at the International Conference Center. How do I have my Team Ramatu members with me? Let's have this team. <laughs> Once again, let's appreciate it's host the Honorable Minister of State, FCT, Dr. Ramatu Tijani Aliu. Let's slow down while she grants press interview briefly. Please be quiet. Let everywhere go silent, please. Hello and welcome to the maiden edition of the Leadership Entrepreneurial Game Show. We call Legs. I am your host. My name is Faith Onyebujo. Let's appreciate the other minister the chief host of this event tonight. Why she take her leave?
to represent her and watch the premiere live. This is not the end of the program yet. Please stay back, sit down, and watch the scene behind the awards of all these millions of Naira that have gone to the contestants. This is where you appreciate the effort put in place for this legs project. Please, can you pause it a little so that we can start from the beginning? Please, don't go yet. We are not done. Let's wait. And also the mandate secretaries to stay behind, all the directors to stay behind. The premiere will just take us a few minutes. After that, we'll close. There's need for you to see the scene behind this award. The effort that was put together by ACGEL, FCTA Social Development Secretariat, representing FCTA, and Smedan, with all the effort of the contestants that came all the way from the East. There's something I want us to learn. The target of this project was FCT and beyond. But you discover that Ibukwenu, what that tells you is like some of us here relax. And you know one thing about Nigerians, and I don't blame anyone, because of most people have been scammed. Most people have been scammed. Online scamming going on here and there. When we are announcing this project, it's like some people don't believe it. They don't believe that it's real. They seem to say, ah, Nigerians have come again. Now so that they do. Which kind of legs? I get leg to run. Which kind of legs? But you have seen the result here today that it's not a scam. This is just the beginning of creating more jobs. You can imagine person going home with about 1.9 million and then the highest tonight is 2.4 million it's not easy let's welcome back the mandate secretary for social development secretariat Haji Hadiza Mohammed Kabir and the area council chairman that were mandated by the honorable minister of state to stay behind we have the Director of Reform Coordination and Service Improvement, Dr. Jumai Amodu, Director of Admin and Finance, Director of Youth, SDS, they are all here. They should move and join the Mandate Secretary, SDS. Now let us get set. In the next 30 minutes, we will be true. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want all of us first minutes we are done. Let's watch the scene behind the contest so that some of you that want to join the next when the portal is open by January you can be able to now know how to go about it. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready?
watch. Watch Thank you. Everybody. Hello and welcome to the maiden edition of the Leadership Entrepreneurial Game Show. We okay, Leadership Entrepreneurial Game Show Legs is the only show in the whole world that is for NMSMEs. The NMSME is the backbone of job creation for any nation. And as a country, we have about 40 million of them, according to the studies being released by Smeden. The Small and Medium Enterprise Development Agency of Nigeria. Of course, this agency is um, a parastatal of the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. It was uh, created through um, the law called the uh, Smeda Act 2003, SMIDA, Small and Medium Industry Development Agency Act 2003. And of course, the agency started operations in 2005. Uh, this is a building, your, your house right now. And of course, um, our main object is to facilitate the development of the micro, small, and medium enterprise subsector in Nigeria. And in that respect, we are expected as part of our mandate to support. They'll create wealth and alleviate poverty for our people. Now, the challenge that most MSME faces, that they face, is funding, capacity building. They also have a problem with mentorship, and also they have a problem with market. Okay? So we said, okay, how can we help them in order to soften, to like a soft land for them? So can we democratize funding? And that, that's the key word for me. Can we democratize funding? Can we use, can you use your end by yourself to decide the kind of funds that you want? So majorly, uh, legs is to solve the issue of, it's to solve the issue of, I don't have working capital, I don't have business to, I don't know somebody to help me to start all of that. So legs came in order to solve that. Next project is a laudable project. It is a project that will enhance and empower the youth. And that quickly caused, caught my attention. And um, I was able It is possible to really, really take a lot of Abuja youth and Nigerians by extension from their current poverty state make them employers of labor and make them to be self-sustaining and the and the interaction they are going to have with other people also in the course of the program is going to expose them more to opportunities that they never knew existed that was the reason why we said let's collaborate with them and it has never happened in the history of fct before that this kind of program that is people oriented can come and we'll see opportunity that we can lift people up which is why we just said this is a big one let's see how far we can go with them so entrepreneurs should latch on to it and then nigerians as a as a people should support entrepreneurs to benefit from this program because it is worth it it's going to change the landscape of entrepreneurship in this country the spirit of leadership is a spirit of entrepreneurship all right you you can't tell me that you're a leader without you being able to set up something whereby you can create income for yourself because entrepreneurial is about income generation, what you can generate. But actually, that's the spirit of leadership. Of course, the, the taste of the food is not in the cooking, is in the eating. Legs. Given your business. Legs. Hold on. Being that this is the maiden edition of the show, let's take a few minutes to establish some of the rules of the game. On this show, we have 12 questions and three are bloodlines. As the contestants progress in the show answering questions, we have every question having a prize tag, ranging from vision capacity building to business incorporation, business tools, walking capital, and a day with the king, which is the ultimate prize. As the contestants advance on the show through answering questions, the first bloodline is called, As I Go, God Help Me. That is questions one and two, which are grace questions. It means that they miss the question, they miss out on the price of those questions, but advance to question three. 
if they do get the questions incorrectly on question three, they are automatically out of legs. But if they get it correctly, they qualify to get the grant prize on question three and then advance to question four. The contestants can also engage the host with a bloodline that is at a search engine. Here, an internet-enabled tablet will be provided for the contestant to search the internet for the answer. This bloodline can only be used two times, once from questions one to six and once from questions seven to 12. But this bloodline has the 60 seconds timeline in which the contestant must answer this question and prove the smartness of the NMSME. We also have the third bloodline, which we have labeled Ask a Co-Contestant. Now this you can use for any question of your choosing, but you can only use this once, so use it wisely. Now regarding the prize tag, Eleven, which is the business tool grant and question 12 which is a day with the king what is a day with the king simple it's an opportunity where the contestant meets a king in the industry of their chosen career worthy of notes is also that on this show each entrepreneur stands a chance of winning five million naira that is three million from questions one to eleven and two million from question 12 which is a day with the king and that will be determined by you our amazing viewers at home through your votes now we've established the rules of the show let's give your business legs to run this is the leadership entrepreneurial game show let's start the show I'm so excited to see you. you look so beautiful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So now you're moving to the stage to battle out with five million to help your IT business. Ma, how do you feel? I'm excited. Definitely. And I'm happy to be here. You should. You should. I need to see that happiness right deep. By the grace of God, it will be possible. Mm. Everybody has that spirit. So tell me, if you win the five million, what would your reaction be? Praising the Lord, praising the Lord, always praising the Lord, always. Praise the Lord, always. Praise the Lord. Good luck as you move on to the stage to win your five million for the IT business. Thank you very much, Mrs. Linda. It was nice to have you. Good luck to you. as we welcome Mrs. Linda Akubundu. You're welcome to the program, Mrs. Linda. How are you? Thank you. Are you okay? Yes. A little nervous? So, are you ready for the first question? Yes, Miss. All right, so step to question one. Now, Miss Linda, please remember that question one and two are grace questions. What we mean by that is if you miss answering those questions correctly, you on the prize of those questions. However, you move on to question three. Here. your current business idea a ICT training and communication B ICT training C communication training and D ICT training and technology 
what is your answer hey itc training and technology ict training and communication ict training and communication hey are you sure about that answer that's the answer remember that you have bloodlines you can use and you're going to lock in your hundred thousand naira on that answer you have a chance to use a bloodline if you want to that's the answer okay did miss linda get it right did oh wow congratulations miss linda you just won yourself an additional a hundred thousand naira all right you can step forward to the resting spot tell me what did it feel like the first three questions were you nervous were you anxious i'm very happy you're very happy you made it to your first breeder your first resting point and you're sure you're going all the way by the grace of god right now who do you wish really watching this program my children your children yes all right what are their names if you don't mind telling us the girl is all my good news i come on to Elma and Victor, I hope mommy is making you proud. Will mommy make it all the way? You'll have to stick around and find out. This is the Leadership Entrepreneurial Game Show Legs. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for sticking around. This is the Leadership Entrepreneurial Game Show. This is Legs. We still have our contestant in the person of Mrs. Linda Akubundu. Are you ready for question four? I'm ready for question four. You're ready. Now, question four is for a prize for business tool. And this question is worth 125,000 Naira. So question four, which of these is not a peripheral in computer terms? Which of these is not peripheral in computer terms? A. Keyboard B. Monitor C. Mouse and D. Motherboard What is your answer? Motherboard Gonna use your bloodlines? Motherboard. You're sticking to motherboard. Doggedly sticking to motherboard. Did Miss Linda get it right or did she get it wrong? <laughs> wow, Miss Linda, we're moving slowly but surely, and it seems you have the audience on your side also. <laughs> Congratulations, Ezekiel. You've answered questions one and two, and those were your grace questions. Successfully, you move on to question number three. Question three. Question three is a prize for a business tool worth a hundred thousand naira. The English name 
for Ugu is called A. Fluted pumpkin. B. Vine leaves. C. Green leaves. And D. Pumpkin fruits. What is your answer? A. A. That is fluted pumpkin. Are you locking that in for a hundred thousand naira? Now remember that if you get it wrong here, you're automatically out of legs. So law 100,000 Naira, A, he says, is fluted pumpkin. Did Mr. Ezekiel get it right? Is this where the road ends for Mr. Ezekiel? Does he get it wrong? We'll find out right after this break. <laughs> A very big challenge to many of our youth. In the area of, uh, I'm a philanthropist. In my community, in no reason. Through my struggle, through what I generated from business, through my creative ideas, I've constructed uh, three bridges, three converts, great roads in a rural area, in order to help people that are dwelling in that place, to make those places more durable. Welcome back. This is the Leadership and Entrepreneurial Game Show we call Legs. Question was, what is the English name for Ugu? And he picked option A, which is fluted pumpkin. Is that the right answer? Or is that the wrong answer? Now, from question three, if he gets it wrong, he goes home. So is he going home or does the journey continue? <laughs> Let's move on to your Toyota Corolla, giving your business legs. That's what we're all about. So step to question number four. Question number four. It's a prize for business tool. And this question is worth 125,000. B, mini boss. C, Ford. And D, Benz. Boss. Say that again. Boss. Boss. Yes. That is mini boss. Option B. Yes. Are you locking in option B for 125,000 naira? Yes. Option B. Let's find out if he got it right. Or if this is the end of the road for Dan Ladi. Congratulations, Dan Ladi. You. you just won yourself a hundred and twenty-five thousand naira. Thank you. <laughs> you're feeling you're looking very humbled. Are you are we okay? <laughs> are we okay over there? Yeah, we are okay. Do we Good. need some water or? Ah, you know now, since yesterday, <laughs> man gas. Question six. Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company Limited was founded in what year? A, 2001. B, 
2007, C, 2010, or D, 2020? What is your answer? I would like to use this tablet. You would like to use yeah. Ask a Search Engine? Yes. Please let's invite our hostess to bring in the tab for Danla D. Now, remember that this question, you can use it just once from question one to six, and it's 90. This is classic. Round of applause for SDS Midan and Akja. Three, two, one. Mr. Danladi, please give the tab back to our hostess. Thank you. The question, Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Co. Limited was founded in what year? A, 2001, B, 2007, C, 2010, or D, 2020? Yes. Is Dan Lady going forward or is Dan Lady going home? Question number six. 2007 B option locked in for 250,000 Naira. Is this the where the road ends? Let's find out after this break. <laughs> Um, not to buy car. Well, not to buy car where good day. You know, good day too much. Um, you know, go get, uh, you know, go to 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 uh, chop too much money like that. Uh -huh. Expensive. So, where you go help me make I they do my business and it go make me to expand the business into all, some other areas where small, small money go they come in. Thank you and welcome back to the Leadership Entrepreneurial Game Show we call Legs. Yes, it's giving your business legs to run, but if you want to fly, that's also good. Now we have Danladi on question six. He locked in his answer for 250,000 Naira. Is he right? Is he going to continue or is he wrong? Let's find out. Congratulations, Dan Laddie. You just won yourself 250,000. in time uh, of course <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness it seems like such a journey are you ready for your five million naira by the grace of god congratulations dan Ladi. you have made it to question number eight <laughs> question eight the car brand tesla is owned by a jeff bezos b hichiro toyoda c elon musk or d tesla 
Ranchi. What is your final answer? C. C. The line is 400,000 Naira. Elon Musk, C, for 400,000 Naira. Is Mr. Danladi going home or is the journey continuing? Let's find out. Congratulations, Mr. Danladi. You just won yourself 400,000 Naira. Please step to question number nine. Question nine is a business tool prize worth 450,000 Naira. What does payee mean? What does P-A-Y-E? What does it mean? A, pay as you expend, pay as you earn, principal and yearly earnings and d none of the above what is your answer my mind is going towards pay, pay as you earn but i don't really know whether it's the right answer uh, pay as you earn that is b are you locking in that answer Let's go. No, my own theory, failure is not an enemy, but a friend. I learn from my failures. Let's go. So locking in B, pay as you earn for 450,000 Naira. Is he going to lose all that money and go back home? Or is he going to continue on the show? Congratulations, sir. You just won yourself 500,000 Naira. Now you can move on to question number 11. You too can be on this program. All you have to do is keep your ears close to the ground and find out when next we come to your screen. Please don't forget to follow us on the social media handles showing on your screen for more information and more details. If you want to be on the show, please make sure you follow the Instagram or so every social media handle showing presently on your screen. of applause please. thank you so much until next time we say have a wonderful time and as always this is legs And now to the viewer's question of the week. Remember the first viewers to provide the right answer to the question stand a chance of winning a cash prize of 20,000 Naira. Are you ready? Here's the question. Viewers. Who is the founder of the Dangote industry dynasty? Here are your options. A, Alaji Aliko Dangote. B, Alaji Alinko Dangote. Or C, Alaji Aliko Dangote or D Alaji Al 
This is just the tip of the iceberg. This project is for to start two, three years running. So this is just the beginning. So get ready. Just take the website. It's www.legs.africa.org. Just take note and be on the washout, be on the lookout. It's going to be on so many of the television screen and then voting will start. But the first episode, it was free registration. But next one, when the portal is open, they will tell you a token that you are going to pay as registration fee. It's like Nigerian don't buy free things. It was free, just few people key in. On behalf of the management and staff of the FCTA, most especially our principals, the Honorable Minister of State, the Mandate Secretary Directors, want to appreciate you all for coming to witness this event, to Agile, to Smidan, to all the participants, and for your information, these guys were flown in from Benin and Anambra State. Benin and Oweri, Eboin. And they are lodged in a hotel, free of charge. And they are going home with 700,000 over 1.9 million and about 2.4 million. We say thank you, thank you, Director, Reform Coordination and Service Improvement for your efforts, the Mandate Secretary, Ajia Hadiza Mohamed Kabir, and other person, my brother and friend, uh, Shaka Sunday, members of the committee, my humble self, Idris Yahaya Atta, Director Youth, she, are, she has really worked hard because the job creation studio is in her center, in Nyanya, Nyanya Ultra Modern Youth Center. That is where the job creation studio is. You can visit there, but on permission. So thank you all, and God bless you. We wish you all a safe journey back to your various destinations. Hit the screen. Started already. Are you ready? This is for you, my dancers, bro. What's up? What's up? Alright. This is for my dancers, and thank you so much for this platform.